Hello everyone, welcome to Mathematics Patshala. Today we will solve a problem from CSI and June 2023, Part C, Ordinary Differential Equation. And the equation ID is 704091. So let's see the problem. Here the problem is let F belongs to C1 in R be bounded. And let us consider this IVP P where X dash T is equals to F of X T where t greater than 0 and the initial condition is given x0 is equals to 0. So which of the following statements are true? So here it is given that f belongs to c1 in real number set r be bounded. What is c1 r? c1 r is the set of all continuously differentiable functions. And uh, continuously differentiable means that f is differentiable and its derivative is continuous on r. So, and it is also given that f is continuously differentiable as well as a bounded function. f is continuously differentiable as well as a bounded function. So, we can easily take f as a constant function which is always continuously differentiable and bounded also. So, we can take any constant function as if. So, let us take f is equals to 1. So, what is x dash t? Then x dash t is equals to 1 as defined in the question that is here x dash t is equals to f of x t defined. So, We can write x dash t is equals to 1. Now we can integrate this and integration over dx is equals to integration dt. By integrating both sides we get x equal to t plus c1 where t c1 is integrating constant. Now the initial condition is given as x0 is equals to 0. So let's put here 0 and t is equals to 0. So what we get applying this we get c1 is equals to 0. Then the solution is x equal to t we get. So we can say p has a unique solution for this example. Now let's take another function. If we take another function as cos t which is also continuously differentiable as well as bounded. So, here x dash t is equals to cos t as defined previously in the question. Then, integrating both sides, we get x equal to sin t plus c2 where c2 is an integrating constant. Now, again, the given initial condition is x0 is equals to 0. So, we have to put this initial condition here. And what we get? We get c2 is equal to 0. So, our solution becomes x equal to sin t. So, in both examples, we can say that p has a unique solution. Here and in our previous example also, we can say that p has a unique solution. So, if p has unique solution, we cannot have infinitely many solutions. So, option 2 is right and option 3 is false. Now, option 1 is true because both the solutions we have in our two examples are defined for all t greater than 0. Here, it is defined for all t greater than 0. And in example, here also. So, we can we can say that P has solutions defined for all t greater than 0. So, our option 1 and 2 both are correct. Now, let's see option 4. So, let's see what is Lipschitz condition. Lipschitz condition is saying, let if be defined on D where D is either a domain or a closed domain of the XY plane. 
then the function f is said to satisfy a Lipschitz condition with respect to y in d if there exists a constant k greater than 0. That is a positive constant such that modulus of f of x y1 minus f of x y2 is less than equal to k into modulus of y1 minus y2. Let's see another hypothesis from this condition. That is, let f be such that del f del y exists and is bounded for all x y belongs to d, where d is a domain or closed domain such that the line segment joining any two points of d lies entirely within d. Then f satisfies Lipschitz condition with respect to y in d. So let's see here. Here option 4 is saying that the solutions of P is Lipschitz. So as of our first example, here del x del t is equals to 1 we get and it is bounded. So in the first example, Lipschitz condition is satisfied. And for the second example, we get x is equals to sin t. Then del x del t is equals to cos t which is also bounded. So, in the both examples what we have taken, del f del y exists and bounded also. So, Lipschitz condition is satisfied in the both solutions. Now, we can say option 4 is also true. So, here, here in our question, our option 1, 2 and 4 are our correct answer. Option 3 is false. Thank you everyone. If you like this video, please subscribe and support us.